Hey y'all. So I'm going to get in on this whole Shane Dawson thing. I have my own opinions and I know that if it were me in that position, I would really hope that someone would come to bat for me. Um, of course, I don't know him personally, but I have been a huge fan since I really very first found his videos. Um, I love the conspiracy theories. I love all of his quirky, dark humor. Um, you know, that's kind of a category that we all kind of have inside of us, but none of us want to let it out. Well, I believe that Shane Dawson is one of those people that actually lets out that side that we don't normally, you know, we don't normally see. We don't normally let it out ourselves. He's kind of one of those people who you think about, well, okay, well, I was thinking it, but you went and said it, you know, kind of one of those people. So with that being said, I have my own opinions on what should happen from here. I know a couple of months ago, him and his boyfriend, they actually did this video where they both went to a lie detector test center and they actually both video uh, recorded. I think actually Garrett did it. They actually, he actually recorded them getting lie detector test and they answered questions about, you know, their relationship and that kind of thing. That's all fine and good. Well, of course, we all know lie detectors are not admissible in court in certain states from what I understand. But if it were me, and if I were in that situation, if I were in this crazy, ugly rumor, which I mean, this is like the worst rumor that you could ever have started about you. Someone calling you a pedophile when you know deep down in your heart that you're not, and you're such a big influence in this YouTube world that your career can be taken down just by the word pedophile. I mean, your career can be finished. That big, nice house that he has, that can all be gone. You know, the cars that he has, they can all be gone. The career he has, that can all be gone just for that one word. So why is that fair? Why, why is no one giving him the chance to defend himself and you know, yeah, he made the video last night that says, oh, no, he's not, and all this other stuff. Well, it's about time to prove it. So if it were me in that situation, me and Ryland and Garrett and Drew and all of everybody else, his mama, everybody, we'd be going to the lie detector test place, and I would be going on record, on camera, showing my results, showing that I'm not a pedophile. That's what I would do. And... I just really think that's something that needs to happen because for one yeah you can sit there in a camera and tell everybody your real name and all this other stuff but at the end of the day anybody can say anything you know you can say oh I killed somebody oh no I didn't you know in this day and age you're guilty until you're proven innocent and I, there's no one that's gonna tell you any different so yeah that's what I think needs to happen I believe they need to get back on the video, go back down to that place, spend another $200, and he needs to redeem himself because there's not another way to do it. Okay, so you're going to go on a video saying, oh, no, Shane, this is my last name, my real one. You know, no, dude, you're going to have to prove it. And I, for one, I don't believe it. I do not believe that Shane Dawson is a pedophile. But just for his sake, and it, like I said, if it were me in that position, I would want to prove it. I would want to prove it to my 11 million fans that this is not what I am. This is bullcrap. All right, y'all. My video time's about to run out. See y'all. Bye.